Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up scan an email using Gmail outgoing mail servers for your Toshiba copier. Now in the past, in order to get Gmail to work, you would need to go into your Google account security settings and turn on allow less secure apps to work. Otherwise they wouldn't, it wouldn't function. So I'm here to inform you that as of May 30th, 2022, Google is removing that option. You're no longer going to be able to toggle between on and off. So that's going to create chaos throughout the entire world. I'm guessing anybody using scan email is using the Gmail account. They're come the 30th. I could just see our phones are going to blow up. Emails blowing up. Everybody's going to, ask what's going on. So luckily you get to see this video beforehand. So I'm going to show you a workaround, a way of bypassing this, this uh, feature so that when that time comes, you're going to be coasting smooth. You're not going to have any issues. So let's get started. First off, you need to go into your Google account security settings. I already have mine open. You're going to click on securities and you're going to scroll down to where it says app password and you see this two-step verification right now it's an option uh after the 30th of may uh, 2022 you're no longer gonna be able to turn it on and off so when it's on the less secure apps disappears but anyhow uh, i'm probably confused most of you but who cares just follow what i'm going to show you next and that's all you have to worry about so click on app passwords now it's going to ask you to sign in again with your password your google account password Now that it verifies as you, it's going to take a second step and it's going to send you a notification on your phone. So when you get that notification on your phone, it's going to ask you if you've made changes, you're going to click, yes, it's me. Then it's going to ask you to select the number that you see on the screen here. It should show up on your phone. You got to select that. And when you do that on your phone, it automatically verifies you here. So now we can move to the next step. We're going to select, select apps option do the drop down and select other now uh, it says right here select the app and devices you want to generate a password for so since this is going to be the toshiba copier i'm going to go ahead and just name it toshiba copier this way in case you ever have to look down the line later you'll know that code refers to you it, it's attached to your copier so let's generate that code now this code is very very important you need to copy this code because we're going to use it later. So copy this, click done. Next step we're going to do is we're going to go into the back end of the Toshiba copier by typing in the IP address of your copier. Now, if you don't know the IP address of the copier, go and get that before you go forward. And if you haven't assigned an IP address to your copier, well, you need to pause it here, go into the description. I have a link on how to assign an IP address to your copier that has to be done. It has to be on your network before we go forward. So let's go on. Uh, the password on my, I mean, the, the IP address on my copier is, this is my IP address. So now on the back end of the copier, this is top access. This is where you control the whole machine. So we're going to come here to log in. Username is lowercase admin. Password is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the, the default password for all Toshiba copiers. If yours doesn't work, you need to reset your password. Okay. Click on administration, click on network. Now this next step is crucial. Very important. It won't work without it. You got to make sure that DNS is enabled and you also have to put your DNS servers. If you don't know what your DNS servers are, uh, one way to find out is just under search box, just type in CMD, go into your command prompt, type in IP config space forward slash all. And here you're going to find your DNS servers. Okay. I'm using Google's DNS server here. So I'm going to go ahead and type this. That's Google's DNS server. That's what I'm using. I like to put a secondary one. Uh, I'm also going to use Google's secondary uh, DNS, which is 8.8.4.4. Once you get this inputted here, go ahead and click save. It's going to ask you, would you like to continue? Yes. Now this little message here, you're going to get this. It's pretty much rebooting the controller on your copier. Just keep hitting refresh until it goes away. There, it went away. 
<clears throat> sometimes it'll take uh, up to a minute or so to just be patient. Next step, we're gonna go to email. We're gonna click on SMTP settings. Here, you're going to make sure that SMTP client is enabled. Make sure that your drop down menu here, you choose, I like to accept all certification without CA. It always seems to work fine for me. Make sure that your SSL is set on star TLS, such as this. SMTP server address, that's gonna be your Gmail uh, server address, which is smtp.gmail.com, okay? Uh, keep POP before SMTP disabled. Authentication, you wanna put login or auto, whichever you like, I'm just gonna put login. Now you're gonna put your email, your Gmail email. So let me put mine. And your password's not gonna be your Gmail password. It's gonna be that code I had you click earlier and copy. Okay, so very crucial you follow this correctly because it won't work without it. Make sure that your port number is 587. And if you want, you can execute and make sure that it says successfully connected. If it does, then you can move forward. Go ahead and click save. Are you sure? Yes or okay. And then don't forget to hit save again, okay? This is very important, otherwise everything you did here is not gonna work. But before we hit save, just make sure you put your email here, okay? You want it to be from, uh, this is my Gmail here, and you could put a name if you want. This is really, when you get the, the email with the file, with your file, it's just gonna give you the email and the name. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna leave mine blank, hit save. So now we're done with almost everything. Now the only thing left is we're gonna create the address. Uh, so when we walk up to the copier, uh, we're gonna select the, the name of where we want it to scan to, okay? So we're gonna go to registration, select public template. Here I have one template used. This is uh, to scan to my share folder on my computer. I have a video on that as well. Uh, we can watch it later. And number two is empty, so I'm gonna click on that. Click on scan, put a check mark on email and uncheck scan a file because this can be scanned email and select agent. Now panel setting is really what you just wanted to say when you walk up to the copier. So you can determine who you're scanning to. So in this case, I'm gonna leave scan two and the second caption here, I'm just gonna put my email. This is just what you wanted to read on the display. So you know who you're scanning to. You can put a name here, but I'm gonna leave it blank. So you're gonna hit save. And now uh, next one is you're gonna do destination settings where you want to send the email to. Um, you, if you created an address book before, you can select the address from here. If not, then you just create a new one. I'll go ahead and just put my email. And click okay. Click save and make sure to click save again here, okay? If you don't, then everything you do is not gonna save. All this other stuff, I mean, you can, I wouldn't mess with any of the scan settings. It's all by default. It should be plenty unless you wanna play around with it, but it's up to you. Uh, but pretty much this is all you need to do. If you wanna put CC, which hardly anybody ever does, I mean, you can. Uh, if there's one specific person that you always wanna CC or even BCC, just put their email on that. But just know that every time you select this person, it's gonna be, going to these people. Okay, so click save and that's it. So now let's walk up to the copier and do our first scan of email. All right, guys, I'm here at the copier. So let's go ahead and scan the email. First thing we're gonna do, select scan, touch a template tab, select public template group. And there you have it. That's the scan of email we just created. We're going to grab our document or documents, put it on the document feeder face up and select scan. That's all there's to it. Once this goes through, you're going to receive an email with your scan document. So hopefully this helps you out. If for whatever reason it does not work, come over to the job status here and select scan. And if you had an error, so I'll let you know here. If it's blank, that's a good sign. That means it went through. Good luck, guys.